What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial, Shin Godzilla today, another one, but this time with atomic breath going on, right? So I'm on a landscape orientation page, use pencils and erasers for these and hit pause if I go too fast. Okay, so wrinkly dude, lots of detail sort of on Shin Godzilla. So I'm going to start with his eye, right? Because it's like a circle, so it's like the easiest thing to sort of start with. Center point to my page is about here. I'm going to come up over to the right hand side. He's kind of like looking down, you know, in that scene where he like blasts down towards the ground, I think. So up over to the right, and we're just going to do a circle, right, to get us started. Change pens here. Yeah, we'll just do a circle just up here. Right, like that. And he has like a cat-like eye. It's like a long spiky eye pupil in there. Right, and he's kind of looking down. And then you just color that black. So then we have like a bump for his eye just around here. And like this sticks off this way and then comes around underneath these sort of wrinkles and all this stuff. You can add as much texture and stuff as you want. So then, so he's got like a bumping sort of eyebrow thing that comes around here. And so like bumps around and he's like, he's like, he looks like he's like made of stone and stuff. So he's, it's a lot of these kind of bumps that just go back this way and this will have like wrinkles and texture and stuff on it as well it just goes back like that and again so like textures wrinkles stuff like this as much of this as you'd like you know just to make them look a bit bumpy So we've got like two sections for his jaw at the front and at the back. So we'll go, we'll add some bumps just back here for the jaw that'll eventually come down around for his mouth down here somewhere. So then at the front, we have another couple of bumps that go forward towards his snout, right? So we'll go sort of just forward this way. Down. And then his lip kind of bumps around here. Okay, and this will bump again. Real textured and bumpy kind of lines that come around for his mouth. His top lip has some lines that kind of come down this way, more bumps kind of stuff. And these textures all go down. And then you join sort of his face down here. This kind of goes up towards the edge of his eye. Like so, and then more bumps and textures and things all back here. Okay, and then you'll add like more texture lines and things on all of these, right? So like all this sort of wrinkly skin lines and all this kind of stuff. I think we can see like one of his nostrils maybe just in here, like a dark nostril section just there like that. Mm. 
and you can darken up some areas it's just to show that maybe there's a bit of shadow underneath some of those some of these bumps more texture or less texture it's up to you really right so that's like the top of his head right so there's all teeth and stuff down here but we'll get like the bottom jaw and stuff done next right so we've got like more bumps coming out here and it kind of goes around bumping all the way down like this lots of this sort of bumpy stuff now right so his mouth is real wide open so he's got that real weird jaw so it goes like pretty much straight down this way it kind of like curves around so he's got these two sections for his jaw so one here this goes around again bumping always because he's real textured and stuff right and then this is like got a skin flap right so it goes across like so and then around the other side right so bumpy this way and then it'll eventually go up in behind his teeth so up back this way we'll just stop it kind of here because we got to draw teeth first okay this is like our general shape for his bottom jaw and i'll just add some like texture and stuff to this Okay, and now we're gonna do like his teeth and his gums all coming across here, okay? So like, he's got really like sharp, like needle, kind of like needle, like teeth. And they go right in sort of, there's some real small ones like in here, but mostly they're these needle-like ones that just come along and they're coming out of the gum line, that's why I'm sort of drawing them like this first floating sort of along here because we'll join them together with these kind of like pink sort of gum line that he has because they are growing out of it so and like it looks like he has some that's like sitting on his face it's real weird i have a couple of shin godzilla videos so if you follow those you'll know what i mean Right, so I'm just going along here and remember you don't have to do this exactly like me because I'm not really copying the picture like a hundred percent I'm just kind of I'm just kind of making it up kind of but just getting the shape of the teeth right one here at the front and there's a couple at the back so you can see like so I'm doing in between teeth because you know we can see to the other side of his mouth so you've got to like do a couple on the other side as well like that okay and then I'm going to do his gum line right so this kind of like bumps across here in between sometimes sometimes coming across the top these sort of bumping lines and these have like bumps and textures and stuff all in them as well and this would be like colored pink if you're coloring 
And then we have another row down here, right? So we do the same sort of thing again, right? We do have some teeth coming like from his gray skin as well. But the majority will be coming from here and from his gum line. Right, like that, and then we'll just join it together with this kind of bumpy kind of gum line of his, just in between the teeth. Like that, right? And then we have another layer of teeth coming down the outside here, but this is just all pink inside here. And then we can just see the teeth kind of sticking up on this side. Okay, and then there's all this stuff inside here. So all lines for his skin and stuff in here. So he's got this skin flap that's just on the side. Just here. And this has all lines coming down this way. I don't know if you can hear that. My cat is snoring. Can you hear that? That's my cat. She's asleep behind me and she's snoring. <laughs> That's so loud. Oh my God. I won't wake her up. We'll power it through. Um, so then all these skin flaps on the inside, right? So he's got like a lot of this stuff just here. Right, and then some like lines that come across this way. And like lots of wrinkles then that come up here. And what it looks like another line going that way. And then like the hole for his mouth or something is like here. It's like bumpy. Where the energy blast is coming out of like here and it has all texture on it and then lines that go around consecutive sort of circles that seem to come around this way it's kind of like this kind of stuff all texture on the inside and we'll make this sort of dark in here like that there's a hole and then we keep adding texture and wrinkles and stuff all inside here. Okay, and this would be all colored like a pink sort of flesh color. So, move down now and do his neck. So, let's brighten things up a little bit. So, okay, so we'll just get the general shape. So again, so bumps sort of coming down, bumpy neck, sort of line going this way, right? We'll just get the general sort of shape in, going back like so. Right, going that one, it's got these sort of ridges and bumps and stuff that we go down a bit further. It looks like he, he's got all these kind of tubes on his neck and stuff. 
And the front of the neck will be here. Comes down like so. And then it seems to like sort of stick out to a point or something here. Like a real sharp part. And goes back. Like in this way. And then there's loads of detail now in between. So again, lots of these tubes and things that kind of stick out from behind here. So like a couple more bumping kind of texture areas this way, right? And then we got this long sort of neck tube comes down to there. There's some on the other side. Down like so. And this has like all these tendrils that kind of grow into his neck here. Like so. And then we have another long one. Like coming out here. This one again grows down into his sort of chest area, it's like veins, sort of thing like this. And it's sort of growing down onto his stomach and stuff and they kind of connect maybe. This texture inside here as well. And then, so we keep going. So we add another one down here, and then we have like his shoulder here, right? Bumpy sort of shoulder line. And then the other side of his shoulder is sort of here somewhere. So there's like loads of texture and stuff. So lots of these vein, these vein kind of lines here too. And then this wall eventually kind of starts to go down this way along his body. Lots of these coming down now. Like branches of trees or veins, just. Like this and then texture all inside. So the main thing of Shin, drawing Shin Godzilla is all this texture stuff. And then, so we'll go back up and add texture to all these spaces here as well. And sort of those red um, fins that he gets. So like, see here, coming down his neck, right? So coming down this way, these would be like glowing red in here. Let me just add like three or four more going down this way. Maybe a couple more. Let's see. How many could we do? Kind of get skinnier as we go down. And then this is all wrinkle. And texture. So 
So these are like gills that like normal Godzilla has. So we'll add these texture lines on them going this way. And then lots of wrinkles and stuff here. And some wrinkles on this part as well. Right, and then um, like texture on all these, like these tubes, right? And you wanna like curve them over just to give it a, like a sense that it's kind of rope-like or a curved objects. So you wanna like curve these lines like that. And you're thinking like rope sort of shapes. And then use more red lines in here, right? So more of these kind of like what his gills are. So rope like lines here. Coming across. These would all be sort of glowing red. And maybe you'll add some texture sort of in between. That. And then more texture, so we'll just keep adding these textures to all these sort of wrinkles that he has on his skin and everything. Loads of them. Kind of come down his arm as well. Just darken up the areas that are supposed to be like his shoulder and just so they kind of stand out a little bit. So thickening up the main sort of lines for these tubes, just to make them a little bit darker so they look like they stand out a little bit more. Right, like that, right? So then he's got like a series of spikes that run down here and then those big um, fins that go along his back, right? So we'll just start adding these sort of spikes here. Right, so I'll do them sort of like triangles at first. So I'm in behind, but then we'll sort of add a sort of a pyramid-like feel to them. So what I mean is, well, I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean, it's easier. We're just going down. They can be kind of jagged. Like that, kind of like a mountain range just going down his back, right? And then to make them look a little bit more three-dimensional than what we have there, all you do is like you add an extra line. Boom, okay, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. They can be like bumpy. You just add an extra line coming down from that point. So it makes them look more like pyramid like things that have a bit of three dimension. Like that, okay? So 
thickening up edge lines can always help with drawings like this, especially drawings that have a lot of texture on the inside. Right, so then he's got all those fins that go down his back, right? So let's go. And they get gradually bigger. You could do this anyway, really. You have some like texture lines that go up like that. And you just keep adding those like coral reef sort of shapes. You know, some might be in front of others. A couple of layers of them, maybe. Another layer in behind here. Just keep adding, don't stop the rock. So I'm sticking out behind. And then they get kind of bigger here now. So This one then. So, right, and then we'll just add the veins and stuff that grow up all through here. And then keep adding texture as much as you'd like, dots and dashes and some wrinkly skin and stuff. It's kind of up to you how much of that you want to do. I think that's enough for me. So then, his atomic breath. So, his atomic breath is pretty crazy. Like, it becomes fire at first, and then it becomes this, like, really laser-thin... Um, laser-thin, like, laser. <laughs> I'm good with words. Have you noticed I'm good with words? Um, so I'm just gonna get up a picture here. Shin. Godzilla atomic breath. I can draw, but I can't um, talk good. <laughs> so, so we can go, let's say, right. So I'm looking at it here. So I'm gonna go from, it kind of like floats out from his mouth a little bit when it gets going right it's not like connected so that's kind of cool so i'm going to start here right i'm using a ruler because i just want to get the overall shape and the angle so we'll go this way and we can add some energy to around it when we so we want to get it like gradually getting thicker as we go out here as well. That's where we want it to go. Like this way, right? Okay, and then we might have like some like a little just energy and circles and 
stuff lines all going following this like sparks and This is all purple on the inside as well. Okay. Debris and stuff in the air and things coming out from his mouth. So that's basically what we're dealing with. I'm just thickening up this line a little bit just to make it stand out a little bit more. Um, but that's it. That is how to draw Shin Godzilla. Atomic Breath. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.